Hello everybody, welcome back to City Skyline. So in today's episode, we're gonna see how this intersection works. Okay guys, so the intersection was built quite a while ago and I had a lot of comments from people saying that they couldn't understand how the system worked. So in today's video, I'll be explaining you guys how the system works and how to build this correctly. So let's get started. Okay guys, so taking this camera angle to be a reference point, we could see four quadrants here. Our middle road is built on the second quadrant. So this might be different on different types of intersection. The main reason for me building the connection in the second quadrant is because there are two sides of the highway with high amount of traffic. In order to move them as freely as possible, I have built like that. But how does that make sense? Well, I have a left hand traffic where the driver's side is on the left, meaning for my type of traffic, the right hand turns are free. Therefore, I make sure that one of the two highways with major traffic gets to use the advantage to make my timed traffic light phases shorter. Okay, so before installing a timed traffic light, we need to make sure some dedicated routes for specific lanes to prevent some weird merges that slows down the traffic. To do that, we use the lane connectors from the timed traffic light. So you could do this very easily. Go to your lane connectors, then click on the nodes you want to put them and press Ctrl plus S. And it will automatically do that for you. But for specific junctions like this one, you need to customize it yourself. If the traffic is coming onto the connector road, then allow them to use both lanes, otherwise you will be forcing them to go in one direction. However, if it's going to other roads except for the connector road ones, then you can restrict them into one specific lane because they will have extra nodes to change lanes later. For setting up the synchronized time traffic lights, press shift and select both nodes, click on setup time traffic lights and click on add step. Open the high traffic junction, make sure that the lower junction allows the traffic to flow through it. That will help the high traffic junction to keep on moving. Now open up any junctions that can be opened, which will not cross over each other. So that will help every single lane to move as efficiently as possible. So for the second phase, you need to open the other high traffic highway so that they can move as well. Now this will be the free one. So this will end up opening on two phases. So that's where the advantage comes to play. And for the final phase, you just go and open up every single ones that hasn't been opened yet and you'll be fine you could check your time traffic light by going to the phases and checking if any lights have been missed or even you could change the amount of time one phase will be open so just test it a bit out and do what works for you i will put a zoomed in uh, pictures of the phases that i've built So with that, we have come to an end guys, so smash the like button, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.